Welcome back everyone to Exploring in Portugal. I'm Jay, Cody is on camera, and we are here today with another home tour. We are in the village of Mostairo, and Cody can actually look over my shoulder and basically see the village right there. We're on the outskirts of it. There's no house past us, but the village itself is kind of to my left over there. And down the road that Cody's looking at right now is actually a river beach. It is a quick two minute walk and you're right there at a very nice river beach. I actually have some beautiful drone footage of this property. So we're gonna be putting that on as we talk about the house. We are located again in Mostairo and that is just a few minutes from Pedrogo Grande. Um, five to ten minutes from the city center there you have a like a mini market you have some cafes and some restaurants i think a china shop there so your basic needs are met there and then to go further out you're about 40 minutes from coimbra which is very close and very quick uh, the ic8 is actually just across this bridge and kind of up the hill over there um, it's right over there, actually, Cody, if you, well, actually, I'll, I'll show you it in the drone footage because you'll be able to see it better there. But really easy access to the IC8, which brings you to all parts of Portugal very quickly and efficiently. So you are 40 minutes to Coimbra and you are 40 minutes to Pombal. And I believe they said 30 minutes, no, 25 minutes to Certa. So for bigger shopping centers, high schools, things like that, I believe you are heading towards Certa. So keep that in mind, it's about 25 minutes away. You are an hour and 45 minutes to both Lisbon and Porto. So right in between the two of them, very quick and easy to hop on the A expressways and get up there. We are standing on a plot of land of about, I think it's over 2,500. They weren't exactly sure the exact measurement, but over 2,500 square meters. But when you see this property, it feels like a lot more. It is terraced and they have it set up very, very nicely. There are trees, plants, flowers abound. I will talk about a few of them as we get to them. But again, I am not great at identifying trees when they are not on like there's no fruit on them. He did go through each of them. So between Cody and I, I think we can remember what the vast majority are but we do have olive trees, almond trees, loquats, like a strawberry tree, plum, pear, apricot, clementine, lemon, red lemon, Valencia, orange, orange, grapefruit, pomegranate, mulberry, hazelnut, kumquat, uh, peach, did I say peach? I did not say peach yet. Uh, cherry, and there's a couple different varieties of cherry, including a cherry dogwood that I'd never heard of before, but it looks really cool. There's cork oak, Weeping cherry, walnut, chestnut, apple, and persimmon. So plenty of fruit trees, and they are, for the most part, pretty young fruit trees, but some of them are getting bigger and they have started fruiting. So you kind of get to reap the benefits of the previous homeowner's hard work in setting up this garden space really nicely. There's also berries and shrubs, including strawberries, blueberries, gojis, there's kiwis, honeyberry, fig, raspberry, and currants. And inside the house, we have three bedrooms, three bathrooms and then outside there is actually a pool at this property and that pool also has a, like a pool house to go with it that has like a little almost like a mini kitchenette but not quite just a little fridge and a sink and then a full bathroom so there's actually four full bathrooms on the property and three bedrooms there could be a fourth but you'll see what we mean when we get in there it's being used as an office and it's probably best to use as an office. A lot of outdoor space and a lot of different gardens to work with and all the gardens have been cared and tended towards so. They put a lot of work into this property. I will also point out that the whole thing is fenced and it goes right up to a river. So we're going to take a look at that. In fact, it goes right up to Ribera de Pera. <laughs> I, I'm guessing I'm pronouncing one of those words wrong. Right. Ribera de Pera. Uh, we are on a street, but again, it's a very quiet street. There's a car passing us right now, and that's only like the second or third car that I have seen past the whole time we've been here, and we've been here for a couple of hours now. So a very nice, quiet, peaceful area. For the most part, all I can hear is the birds chirping. There's a lot of chirping birds all over us, uh, like all around us. And there's the river, so I can hear kind of the rushing water of the river. And occasionally I hear the neighbor's sheep. So I think they have a couple sheep over there because I keep hearing it. It's either that or our kids in the car doing a really great sheep impression. But very, very quiet. I think that's what I said the most since being on the property is it's very quiet here. And you just have that constant kind of rushing of the water and the birds chirping. It's very nice. We're going to start the tour by heading into the house and then we're going to show you this property. So come with us. Save the best for last. Save like the, the best pool for last. on the outside here. 
So the house is equipped with uh, these aluminum doors, brand new. So this is like a wood veneered aluminum door, but it's a very good quality door. I do like the really thick granite that they used. This is a newer construction home and it is a concrete block with the stone facade. So what I liked about this was how they put the little stones in between all the bigger stones. You don't really get that that often. So that's a really cool little feature that I really enjoy. And it's got updated security and it's got bars on the windows. And I actually kind of like these bars. Usually bars on windows is not my thing. It but... makes it look almost like a prison, but that these are fancy ones. Yeah, they're nice and open. Coming in here, you'll see there is a bigger, larger, heavier door that you can then close and that locks. And it actually has a lot. <laughs> this is kind of cool. There's four different bolts that hold this door in place. So a really nice, safe, secure house. We have, of course, entered into kind of an entryway sort of area. And I would like to include that most of the furniture will be staying with the house as the homeowners are moving abroad. And so we will um, be looking, what you see as far as furniture goes will stay. A few of the personal items, some of the decor will go, but for the most part, the furniture is staying. I'm gonna switch places with you very quickly to just show that you do have a nice um, entryway right here. So a place to put your jacket, a place to put your umbrella and your boots. And again, we do have the very nice double pane windows. This, these have actually the built-in shutters right here. And then if you wanted to do like the half open thing, I thought this was kind of cool. You can still open the shutters. So they do come out with the, with this. So if it is raining outside, you have that Another thing that is unique about this property, and you're probably gonna to wanna to come closer to see this. Oops. All of the windows have screens on them. So they have added screens to all of the windows. If you are not the kind of person that likes to hang out with insects as you're sleeping, this is the house for you. Now, this is a three-story house. We have entered into what I'm gonna call the sleeping level of the house. So the uh, two of the bedrooms, two bathrooms, and an office space are up here. Living area is down the flight of stairs Cody is currently actually standing on. And then down another flight of stairs is um, like the lower level garage uh, extra kitchen area. It's kind of like a tiered cake. It almost goes dun, dun, dun. And so each floor is roughly the same size, but they're not stacked on top of each other which is kind of nice because if you're sleeping upstairs in the bedroom, you're not over like a living space. You're kind of able to be a little bit more private. And because there are three rooms, oh, three bedrooms could all be considered primary suites. You can have a nice um, living, co-living area with roommates or with grandparents, parents, large extended family, whatever you need it for. But again, there's, there's a lot of privacy in this house and the walls are thick and it's very quiet when you're inside here. So there is uh, mains electricity, mains water. There are solar panels. So I believe there are 12 solar panels on the roof of this house that helps um, heat and cool and keep electricity going in the house. There's also four more on the carport, but it helps reduce your electrical cost and helps kind of offset that a little bit. Also, there are split systems and that we'll point out as we see them in the rooms. So that is heating and cooling. And then there are also radiated heating, so radiators. There is fiber connected to the property. However, the current homeowners have decided to use Starlink. And when he showed us the upload link on Starlink, I think you're gonna wanna stick with Starlink. It is very fast. He said he has never had any problems or interruptions with the system. He has a full house mesh system so you can get internet both inside the house in every part of it, as well as all over the property. So if you're out swimming in the pool, you can have internet out there, down by the river, you can have an internet there. Wherever you are, you have access to the internet. And it's it's they do have 4G here. In fact, let me confirm. Yeah, there is, I have um, three bars of 4G. And then also the, there's a heat pump for the radiators and a heat pump for the pool so yeah. you can extend your swimming season. Yes, there is a heat pump. We're going to look at that, but yeah, there is a heat pump for the pool, so it is a heated pool. All right, so now that we have kind of that part out of the way, um, I will also on the drone kind of show you where north, south, east, and west is so you can get a general idea of sun exposure. But for the most part, the kind of garden area and by the riverside, that's going to get most of the sun. So that includes the pool that you'll see in a minute. Now we're gonna head down the hallway and take a look at the bedrooms.
So as I said previously, each of the bedrooms does have an attached bathroom. The one downstairs is next to it, so it's not fully attached, but it, you know, it basically functions as the bathroom for that bedroom, as well as like the living room space. But we do have a nice, I would say this is probably a queen size bed. You could go a little bit larger. There is room on either side to go larger if you wanted to. Coming over this way, there is the built-in closets. Now these are in every single bedroom. You're gonna have these large built-ins and they are actually, they don't go through. So these are separate. Each is its own little separate area and they're pretty big. And uh, the ones in the next bedroom over, we're not gonna look in because that's the owner's personal items, but they do have the built-in drawers in there as well. And just as deep. Just as deep. I mean, these are, I mean, or, I'm in here. I yeah. fit all the way in. <laughs> I can almost stand up in it. And in addition to the three closets that we have here, there's also the three storage spaces up above. Coming over this way, there's also this massive, very, very deep storage space as well. Storage is not lacking in this house, so don't worry if you're coming over with a lot of stuff, you've got a place to put it. And if you like outdoor like activities, like um, kayaking or canoeing or you know fishing, things like that, you've got places to store all of your outdoor gear too. And this goes way back there and they have two uh, rods so you can hang stuff up in here as well. And I mean, if I, I imagine I could fully crawl in here, no problem. Oh yeah, that's you a know, great hiding space for kids. I was gonna say, if we had, if our, if we lived here, I think this would become like a little fort for our kids. And then I didn't notice it the first time, but the ceiling height in here is oh, yeah. really high, actually. I can't even do it. I, I don't jumped, think Cody... I could touch it. I maybe. don't think you could. I don't think you could. I got hops. <laughs> We're going to head out here now. This is the... See, I love this. The shutters just kind of travel with the windows. Little private balcony. Little private balcony. Again, there's not one particular primary suite that you'd probably say this is the one, but this one does have the most storage and it does have this outdoor space right here. Um, there is some strange things. So like I said, this house is very secure and this is one of them. So when you're not here, you just take this guy, you close it right up and there's a rod that goes in here and it locks and you have a fully secure home. So if this is a vacation home or like a second home that you're not at all the time, you can secure it very nicely. But this first bedroom is perfect for like a traveler because you have all that storage all in that there. Storage. You got lots of space in there, even like a little office, a little patio, your own bathroom. Yeah. So I could definitely see this being like a good in-law quarter or and just this like is actually, roommate quarter. Yeah. This is, makes it very clear that you're on the river, so I can see the river. The overhang of the next level down is a little bit over the view, but I can look this way and see that beautiful village, and I can see the river. You can kind of look this way and see the river that way as well. Yep. And just so peaceful. I'm 90% certain the audio, because I have noise reduction on, is not picking up the sound of the river, but I wish it was because it is so calm and peaceful. Oops. And I would just open my windows and listen to the sound of this all night long. I, I feel like I'm hitting that phase of my life when I'm gonna start getting into birding because I really wanna know what those birds are. They're so pleasant sounding. Coming back in here, they do also have a desk set up in here. So this is a pretty large space. This is not a small room, by any means. Yeah, perfect for like an older child. And it does have the attached bathroom. This is a, I think this is the smallest of the attached bathrooms, but it's still very nice and has these, all of the sinks yes. are these formed built-in concrete sinks and I love these so much. And a lot of this wood detail is gonna be throughout the house. So you have it here, your towel holder right here is kind of that wood. And you see that throughout this whole house. Like they really put some really nice touches on here that just make it feel really like homely and just comfortable. I don't know if homely is the right word, but it feels very warm in here. And part of that is all the features that they chose. You do have the toilet, you have the bidet. We're gonna switch sides because you're gonna come take a look at this. And you even have the exhaust. Yes. 
which exhaust air, air exchange system and there's a radiator in here and um, exhaust isn't really typical i will say this shower is good for somebody like me i'm five seven i'll put what that is <laughs> in metric because i don't know um but it's right over my head it's very nice it also has the body jets and then the handheld and then this is kind of cool i was i was amusing myself with the fact that this is a nice door so i don't know i, I thought it was like this is a really expensive shower door and i love that do you want to point out that the bedrooms have hardwood floor well out here in the hallway and in the bathrooms we kind of have this really nice tile um, almost a pinkish color, but not, I mean, beigey more than pink, but everything is kind of neutral and nice so that you can put in your decor and that will add the color and the flare. And then you also have the green shutters, which is nice. And the hallway is nice and wide too. Nice and wide. You can get two people passing each other easy. This is the office space. This space can be, of course, an office. It could be like a walk-in closet, a storage space. Could you turn it into another bedroom? Theoretically, you could. It could fit a twin bed right here, no problem. The problem is gonna be that there's no bathroom dedicated to this on this level. If you do use this as a bedroom, the person using it will either have to go into the bedrooms on either side of them to get to the attached bathrooms in there, or they're gonna go downstairs. And that's a bit of a walk for middle of the night, have to go to the bathroom. So just keep that in mind. It could be a fourth bedroom but more than likely you're gonna keep it as an office or a storage space of some sort. I like it as an office, but it's not a deal breaker if it was a bedroom. Yeah, our kids would be fine with it. You got a nice pretty view of the town and ample space for all your equipment and working in the office. And again, all of this stuff is staying, so all the furniture is gonna be staying. Um, a few things will go, but for the most part, what you see is what you're gonna get with this house. Coming now into a bedroom. I'm just going to keep calling it bedroom number two. We're going to refer to that as an office, and these are the bedrooms. So this is bedroom number two. This is a king size bed. This is a big bed. There is a built-in kind of shelf over there, and then they have a nightstand over here, and it fits great. Similar to the last bedroom, there is the three built-in closets, and then storage space up above as well. And then again, the very nice. Uh, wide opening windows that also have the screen in them. So a very nice feature uh, if that's what you're looking for, which is, I mean, why wouldn't you want to keep out the mosquitoes? And where we live, it would really help to keep out the cats too, or keep in the cats as well. But nice closet space. So maybe you would consider this the primary because this is the biggest bathroom. We do have the dual sinks. Again, they are the form concrete. We have the toilet and the bidet. And then this shower, which I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna make you switch places with me for a second, Cody, because you're gonna demonstrate how tall the shower is. Uh, again, Cody is six foot three, and that is what, six inches over your head? Yep, So that'd be nice for me. Yeah. You would be very comfortable in that shower. There's no, there's no like, show them how you usually shower. Like, so it's right there. Looking aimlessly. <laughs> no, <laughs> bending movie. down to wash your hair. Oh, typically, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's having to squat. Portuguese Ours houses. Ours is broken right now too, so I have to hold it while I'm <laughs> squatting. It's, it's, a, it's a living. Portuguese houses aren't usually made for people of Cody size. This house, he has no problems fitting into. He can fit the shower. He can fit just fine through the doorway. In our house, he has to duck through our doorway. And again, the ceiling heights, perfect for somebody who is taller. All right, that is essentially the upstairs of the house. Again, you have two full bedrooms, two full bathrooms that are attached to those bedrooms, a bonus office space that could be converted into a fourth bedroom, should that be something you need. But for the most part, we have two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and an office. And then this very wide, like what, five people I feel like can walk down, maybe three, can walk down the staircase together, side by side. It is very wide. Uh, once you get down, I'm gonna have you turn around to show that it is made entirely of concrete. 
and it's it's grippy like you're not going to slip down it there's no slippery tiles there's no slippery marble it is just concrete and it's nice and textured so that you do have that grip and then you have the separation door right here too just a couple more steps down into the living room i love that separation door too i like kind the of yellow, yellow. It's, it's interesting <laughs> yeah and this is an open layout living area we have the living room we have a dining room we have a kitchen but first we're going to go this way into the third bedroom this is the third bedroom this is probably i think the smallest of the three bedrooms it does only have a two-part closet but this closet is still very big oh and this one actually come this way because this one has built-in shelves and oh, then yeah. the built-in um, drawers down there. Very nice. And then over here, it's more open with the built-in drawer. So these are what the um, second bedroom, we didn't show you those closets because that's where the homeowners keep most of their personal things. So we didn't open those, but this is what it looks like. It's kind of got the open spot and it's got the drawers. And then over here you have, what's basically a nice little uh, linen closet. And then this room's got its own split. Yep. So that would be two now. Right up there. And this one has two windows, and this window will look out over the river, whereas this window looks out kind of over the driveway, but you can still, I can still see the bridge that the river goes across. I can see their garden space, but that's the view right there, because that's the river, which we're gonna take a look at soon. You can't see it as great out the window. We're also shooting this in the winter, in the summertime. Just imagine how green and lush everything will be when all the leaves come out. This is, I think the, biggest bathroom but it does only have the single vanity so that's why it's not kind of the primary because that had the dual sinks this just has a single but again it's got the toilet it's got the bidet and then it has this it's got the best shower <laughs> it's got the best shower um it's not as tall as the upstairs one but i think you would still fit yep. under it just fine because i fit under it okay and it's huge. Like it's I can privacy too. You could even share it if you want. I didn't know you could actually be in the shower and somebody could come in and like brush their teeth. And I mean, they they actually be standing right there, probably staring right at you. But you know, it's all good. We do have a window here, and again, all of them have the screens. And again, the um, kind of wood details, the concrete details. It's just lovely. They made a lot of good decisions in this house. And then check this out. This living room. I love this. I love, so the shelves are, you know, they're, they're more of a like fresh cut. They're not squared off and then nice furniture in here. And then this wood burning fireplace right here. It does have the air exchange system. So it will help heat the house. It's indirect, but yeah. check out the front screen on this fireplace. Cause you can have the glass down. You can even pull it up so it can be an open fireplace as well so that glass actually folds up there is, is a way crazy. it folds up i and, saw him do it but i don't know and how it will it. even open out like a normal door so it's like a flexible opening fireplace too which is well really cool. it's just kind of cool because you could have it closed or have it be an open yeah. fireplace which is awesome so fireplace wood burning adds heat down here but again you have the radiator system there's one over here i thought there was another one too but that one's i mean if you look over here at this radiator yeah, I think it's huge it's a big one <laughs> that will oh there there it is it's over there we'll we'll see it in a second but there is two radiators in this room that'll heat this room nicely or you can use the wood burner and kind of have that more I don't I think during like Christmas time you'd hang your stockings and have a fire going in the fireplace it would just be really nice and very um warm and comfortable in here coming now into the kitchen again Every sink in this house is that formed concrete. And I love this. You're not gonna scratch this. You're not gonna like beat it up. It's gonna just stay nice the whole life of this house. They do have in, do you say ash? Yeah. Butcher block countertop. And they do cut directly on this and they just treat it with mineral oil every now and then to kind of keep it nice. But you can cut directly on this. They have, the, <laughs> there's some wine spill over there. So it's got a lot of character to it kind of makes the house seem a little bit older than it is, but at the same time, it adds that kind of character of an older house in what is essentially a new house. Over here, we do have a very large kind of stove inlet. It's not a the one piece. Stove? Yeah, so this is a um, an induction burner up here. This is a new stove, I believe as of last year, 2023, they installed that. This is just storage, but 
kind of cool storage. I mean, it's different. Right? It looks cool. It looks authentic country kitchen. It makes it look older than the house actually is. I believe they said the house was built in 2006 or 2009. One of those two, the mid 2000s. Uh, this is like a barbecue grill. So if you want to get a steak with those really good char, those grill marks on them, you'd make that on here. But and it's got newer appliance. So yep. you got your Bosch dishwasher, your Bosch oven, your Bosch stovetop induction is probably the way to go. You got mm -hmm. this huge butcher block island, which looks gorgeous. And it just really feels like the perfect little it's country kitchen. very fancy. It feels very high end. Um, we'll go out there in a second, but you're probably wondering where the fridge is. And the answer to that is it's right over here. I'm going to check out the stone sink real quick. Okay. And it's like also really <laughs> open surprisingly too. Yeah. So you could actually have like many cooks in the kitchen without like stepping on each other. I mean, we both fit in here fine. You and fit you can two fit or three another three people. or four more people. Somebody could be like rinsing dishes, handing them, putting in the dishwasher. Somebody's over here cooking. It's plenty of room. It's super cute. And the rest of the family is watching the game. But the fridge, yes, the fridge is in here. This is a pretty traditional Portuguese thing in kind of bigger houses is to have the fridge kind of stashed away into what is essentially a pantry area. So I'm like, Cody, go in. Uh, plenty of storage for food, for your dog stuff, pet and stuff. They do have a laundry attachment up here as well if you wanted to squeeze in another washer dryer as well. Up there here. is one downstairs as well. So now coming back past the kitchen, they do have a small dining room area right here. Currently only two people live here. You might do some rearrangement if you need a bigger dining room space, but I do think you could fit four people very comfortably around this table or even get a slightly bigger table and still fit four people comfortably. But I think if you buy this house, you're gonna be eating your meals out here. So six people can very comfortably fit around this table. It is completely um, enclosed. You can open it. I believe I, I tried to do this earlier and I was not very successful, but it slides all the way open. So you have this open area. You can see the river really well from here. I mean, you just will listen to the sound of the water rushing through. In fact, let me see, did I? Oh no, it goes this way. No, it doesn't. <laughs> okay. I just, no, nope, I did the half open. I didn't do the full open. But you can also open the door that Cody is standing by. So you have some openness to this airflow. Nice, just beautiful views of that river right there. In fact, Cody, go closer to the, to the, we'll get there next. Stop showing the pool. <laughs> That's the river right there. That is also your yard space. So the property goes all the way down to the river. So anything you see in that space between the house and the river is part of the house and we're gonna get there very soon. But this also has the shades that can come down because you are gonna get a lot of sun um, coming through here. Again, this is a very sun drenched part of the house right here. Perfect little sunroom. Yeah, I mean, this is, and I love this too. Like you, you can, can pass, pass food yeah. through. It's just, the perfect room. So you, this would be your dining room, I imagine. I do not imagine you would be eating very many meals inside because this is, I mean, we're in winter right now. It's February. Nope, it's March. <laughs> it's March, but it's still, you know, it, it's kind of a colder time of the year. We had a couple of colder days and it's very comfortable in here. Double pane windows will definitely keep this room feeling warm. So this is your dining room. But if you absolutely wanted to put another dining room space. You could probably just shift the couch a little bit this way and put it right here. If you wanted to put it right over here and just kind of move this stuff here so you have a bigger space over here, there's options, but I don't think you're gonna need them. That's yeah. the dining room. And also where you're just gonna hang out in the evening, play board games, things like that. Third floor, heading down now. Again, concrete stairs. And down here, we're gonna see some of the homeowner's doggies. Uh, they have three large dogs. And again, the entire property is enclosed in a wall. So you have no problems if you have dogs. Uh, we do have the washing machine here and the dryer over there. So this can act as a laundry room. 
You can fit a car in here, but you'll see later that they don't use like this as their garage and they don't use that as a driveway. Um, this is just where they have some like stuff. They have a carport in back too that they, they yeah, park. And then absolutely. this space could really be turned into anything. anything. If you wanted another bedroom or needed another, you know, separate living area it, yeah, it could be for its kids own or grandma or separate apartment. grandparents. Yep. If I come in over here, cause I'm going to show like kind of the door. Watch out for the puppy. He just doesn't care. He's like, we're fine. You could take away the garage door and close this, but with windows looking out, you see the river over here. Again, Half the road is kind of right there, yep. but the traffic is not anything to worry about. And then you would have this open space that could be a living room, dining room, put a bathroom in the corner. There is water because we have the, um, you know, the washing machine here and they also have another sink again the concrete formed sink right here. So you could turn this into a kind of a bathroom, nice big one too. Have this be the living room and kitchen. And then through here could be a bedroom or you just keep it as it is. And this is your workshop and storage space exactly. where you keep your bikes. Everything so far, you don't have to change anything. I would keep it this way because I love this. This is basically acting as an outdoor kitchen space. So this door leads to the side yard that we're gonna go take a look at next. This is an Oni uh, pizza cooker and it's staying. So this is included in the house and it can be yours if you buy this house and you can have your pizza down here. We'll see outside in a minute. There's like a bread oven too. Jay really wants a pizza cooker. I really want a pizza cooker. I really do. I think they actually make a uh, peanut in this peanut butter. Not sure. But they kept or the old cabinets for down here and it makes perfect storage for down here. It's a really good utility space for canning or for bottling wine or any kind of hobbies you kind of have. Even a pretty good art room, except I'd probably want a window. And then they, they, well, there's a window up there behind you. Yeah. They do have a fridge down here, a full sink. This one is actually not the concrete formed, so I lied. The stone kind of a base for it. And then you've got some storage space down there. A huge space so again you could convert it into a bedroom and have this be a lower level apartment but why would you need to have this really nice downstairs kitchen and that leads us to outside it is okay this weather has been super weird it's a little bit sprinkly right now but i think we'll be okay so, so you have an additional little yeah. outdoor kitchen going here so this is the bread oven it is a very nice pretty deep bread oven. I mean, you can see the whole width of it. They have a little barbecue grill space out here. Another sink, and this one does have the formed concrete. Uh, so there's an outdoor sink and there's water out here. And it leads to kind of the rest of the yard and the pool space. But before we go look at that, I know we have the air exchange right up here above my head. So that is going to help keep the house really comfortable during that's your every season your heat pump for your water that goes right into here so this is your eco forest brand new water heater and the water heater system right there and then as you can tell by the equipment too the house has an a plus energy a rating. plus energy rating so awesome and then this kind of awkward area except it's storage this is where you store stuff that you just don't need all the time. Christmas decorations and we other all holiday decorations it. and the stuff that you bought that you use sometimes, like maybe summertime de like decoration or um, furniture, stash it in here in the winter, bring it back out in the summer. And it's not in your house. It is a separate storage area that is its own space. So it's not taking up the storage area in the house. So you can use that for the things that you use more often or every day. Yeah, and this isn't even really utilized right now. No, nope. and it's huge. It could also be your second kid's play space. <laughs> Shove the kids in the basement. Perfect dark room slash arcade room. Mm, yes, so this long, you just put a dartboard at the end down just there. Just put cool track lights and stuff you in You could it. almost have like a bow and arrow range, uh, archery range. That might be true too. It is all concrete, so you wouldn't have it to worry. It is. You wouldn't be damaging the drywall. Again, we are getting a little bit of rain today, which is funny because an hour ago when we were taking the pictures, it was sunny and nice. Gorgeous, so yeah. Just funny uh, Portuguese rain cloud and winter moved in. weather. Do we let's, want to yeah. start with the garden? We should do the pool we're first. We're going to do the pool first, yeah. So let's head up here because 
I so mean, this is real quick up these steps. You can see the carport that they have up there as well. We'll go up there after we're done here, but this is the pool house. Let's go in here. Again, it's set up as like a kit. I lied. There's another non-concrete form sink. So two of them are, the rest of them are. Uh, there's a mini fridge in here and I'm going to have you go in and swing. Oh, actually, let me, let me do it. I can demonstrate. Um, <laughs> This is another Cody friendly shower. You could easily fit in here. There's also a toilet and a sink. This is the service bathroom for the pool area. So you're not gonna use this if you're staying in the main house, unless but you really you can want go to. go to the bathroom while you're out enjoying your pool without having to go into the, the main and house. And if, yeah. if you're like wet and your kids are dripping wet and you don't want them to go through the house to go to the bathroom, it's all good because you got the bath house or the pool house. Gorgeous pool, nice lap pool. Definitely, and I'm gonna go to heated. the other You can extend side. it with the heated heat I don't heat think they pump. have the heater on right now, so it is cold, but. <laughs> but you can heat it up to get it a little bit warmer for swimming. And when you're in the pool, you're looking out over the river. And just look at that. You are so close to the river. There's like some rapids kind of to my left, so I can hear the water kind of rapiding over those rocks. Uh, there's just nothing between you and the river other than your own garden. And then there's a pool and we're gonna get a little visitor here. Hi buddy. He's like, no, I'm camera shy. He's camera shy. Coming now past the pool. And again, this is a, I don't know. Pool dimensions, I, I don't know but it looks pool deep. Lingo. It looks does like get, it'll probably be like eight feet. It gets deeper as you go so it start, starts shallower there and then it goes deeper i'm not going to jump in to see how deep it goes or how shallow it goes but i think you can definitely stand up on one end but you can't stand up on the other end over here again this is where you're going to have like your barbecue meals you're going to have meals in the summertime out here as opposed to in some stuffy dining room you're going to have it here you're going to have in that nice sunroom this is a covered kind of pergola area um, it is sprinkling right now and I'm not feeling any rain. Cody's standing outside of it, so he might be. Uh, we do have a table and chairs here. Again, more of this kind of wood, kind of almost rustic and cabin-like, but still kind of modern and nice feeling. And you're looking out over the um, river right there. And then come over here and kind of get a view going this way, because we're not going to go into this section specifically, but this is where they currently have a chicken coop. And I believe I've seen five or six chickens in there. So if you want to have chickens, the chicken coop is already set up. They already have a nice run. They might even be included in the sale price. So um, make sure if you want chickens. I think they're I included. I think they're included. Around here, there are a few. He called this a chocolate flower or a chocolate vine. And apparently the um, flowers have kind of a vanilla -y scent and are dark brown or chocolatey brown in color. Uh, there obviously don't have flowers on them right now. Again, it's kind of a shame we're doing this in the winter because in the summertime when everything is in bloom and there's flowers everywhere, this place will be completely different than it is right now. So just use your imagination. Got some vines coming up right here. Uh, again, pot plants kind of everywhere too, you'll notice. I think he mentioned that might be jasmine. So there's jasmine yes, planted. Jasmine. Yes. There's this chocolate vine that's planted that's supposed to be very aromatic. And there's more vines even kind of going up here. So he's trying to cover kind of up the wall with some vines and some flowers and things that are a little, a little bit more slightly than the concrete wall right here. You can of course carry that on, get some trestles, grow some vines up and off of it and make this a little bit more scenic than it is now. But most of the work even in the garden has already been done for you. And we're gonna go up now to the upper level and then we'll head down to the lower level. Yeah, this is definitely a home where the outdoor space is amazing. It's so nice. And they did all the work in there, so it's clean and tidy and it's just there to enjoy. And more of this nice wood kind of railing and you know pieces. To reorientate ourselves now that we've kind of walked around a little bit the front door where we started is just down this path so that's the front of the house and we're now in the back of the house this is the other gate that you can open and drive into and from here 
you drive into the carport where you can keep your car. I also want to see if there is, come on up here. Oh yeah. Oh, sorry. They're a little skitterish. The water tank has goldfish in it and it makes me so happy. There's so many of them. They look like they've had babies. That's a leaf, not a dead goldfish. Okay. <laughs> Coming through the carport now is the uppermost, actually, this is the uppermost terrace up here. There's some flowers there. These are fig trees, pear I believe. Plum. Plum. Pear plum, plum. I believe. Oh, I forgot what that one was. There's pear, plum, peach. I, I rattled them all off at the beginning so that I wouldn't miss fig, them. Lemons, pomegranates. He mentioned a fig tree. Or okay. Two. There's lemons right here. Again, we have the above ground beds. Brand new raised bed gardens. And then down over here. I forgot what this one was, but it looks like it's got some red coming off of it. Is this a cherry? I don't, no, trees I don't know. are down that there. That one might just be a flowering That's tree. That's right. This was a flowering tree. We got flowers all over the place. And again, most of them aren't even out. So when they do come out, you're going to just be surrounded by flowers. And he and kept the, pretty stuff. the flowers for the bees. Yes. When he was doing the, the garden here. He so. was very specific about wanting flowers that were bee friendly. They're going to help pollinate everything in this garden space here. There is a little tiny pond right here, and there's a couple of goldfish down in there. I just spotted them, and then they saw me and went and hid. <laughs> but they're in there, I promise. Down over here, you can look down and see the chickens. Hey, Some guys! Strawberries here along the, the fence. So there, the chickens honestly have, like, such a nice view. Yeah. So there are your chickens. There's six down there, and I think that's all there is because I think they're out. So six chickens. They look like egg layers. Probably the happiest chickens yeah. ever. And then there is uh, an irrigation system. So you can kind of see the um, hose coming there. So the hose here will irrigate this spot and it does go down and through the entire property. So there is water access to irrigate the gardens throughout the property. And that is, again, the kind of upper garden space. It is completely walled, separate from the rest of the house. So if you don't want your dogs to come into this garden space, you can keep them by closing up this gate right over here. I was going to say, this is probably a great spot to keep dogs. Or to keep them out because you don't want to. You have the high walls, so they're not yeah. going to be barking at everything. And here's and your be full water alone. system. So... You are not lacking for water, and the water tank, or holding tank, is right up there. So again, you can close that. It's open. It's it's held open by a rock right now, but uh, this is a holly tree, and my understanding is it is protected, so you can't take this tree down. But it's very beautiful. But you, you can, can trim, trim it. it. Yeah. yeah. But it's a very pretty tree, and it's got some berries on it right now. Very Christmassy. And now we are heading back down the stairs. We're going to go past the pool and go to the lower part of the yard. This is that outdoor kitchen space. And now we're going to go this way. You got quite a bit of space here to even park a couple cars. Yeah, like a separate, like even put an outdoor table there too. Well, if you had chairs. someone living in that lower part, you could yeah. park on the outside there on the side probably even well, and have even a separate driveway almost. The lower house could have like this garden space and the upper house could yep. have that garden space. There's Very different ways if you wanted to divide it up, you could. This is the heat exchange for the pool. And you have all the pool equipment back behind this door here. So your pump and everything else. He was saying they can pretty much swim from this month, so March, but like later on in the month through probably October, even into November, thanks to that. It gives you an extra three, four months of hot water. And then of course the sun coming overhead is gonna heat up the pool very nicely. These are our chicken friends again. And this is its own separate space. So once all this stuff is kind of growing up and 
you know, grass is growing up again, they'll let the chickens out into this wider space to free range and eat the bugs and the plants you know and other things. What would be interesting things. is if you actually enclose that pool area even. They were talking about building... I bet you could get yeah. even more swimming. Oh yeah, if you put like a glass dome over it. A little, you can probably swim year round then. I love this because it's like walking through a little bamboo forest and then walking down the flower path. But we're going to kind of hop over this one right here. Another fruit tree. I think this one is a cherry. I don't know. I don't know trees. I need to learn trees. I don't know them. But this is, I mean, this is it right here. This is the river. We are not far from the river beach. We are in, like, if you throw your kayaks in, he said when it's like summertime, they do have a ladder. So the water is high right now. This is as high as it gets. They put a ladder down and they can actually launch their kayaks from this little beach area that's not there right now, but it is there in the summer. And you can just kayak your way down to the river beach. Just let the river take <laughs> you let away. let the river take you. There is a hammock stand right here. So just plop your hammock here with a good book. Uh, coming back through here, we have the lower level garden space. These are raspberries. So all those vines kind of up against the back side are raspberry bushes. We got some more fruit trees here, trees. There's uh, again, oak trees over I there. I believe he said almond? Almond trees, that's almond, right. Almond, yes. There's cork oak too. But yeah, almond trees, uh, some olive trees. And everything's been pretty well maintained, kind of trimmed back. Pretty well? Very well maintained. I would Sorry. say very well. Very well maintained. Pretty Very well is well like you can out. use it. This is no, like this is easily done. set up for you. You don't have to do anything in the house. You don't have to do anything to the garden. You move in here and you start living. The furniture is already here and everything. You just bring your suitcase. You grab a seat in this chair and you just spend your day watching the river. There is, I don't know how much of the sound is picking up, but there is somebody trimming trees. So you do hear a chainsaw. That's the first noise I've heard. That in a car here. basically, yeah. And we've been here for a few hours now. It's just very... The river's very peaceful. secluded. And then he was even saying across, these are just lots that people keep and maintain. their gardens. So it's not like you're going to have a building or a neighbor looking at you coming out here and enjoying this river. I'm going to have you swing around and just look up at the house too. Because the... Um, feel of the house from the front where it looks like this tiny little stone house and you see that it's actually this really large house like I said kind of a tiered cake sort of look to it where each level comes down so it's separate from each one it's built into terraces on the side of the kind of cliff here but most of the property is actually flat so you've got this flat space here the upper garden is a bit of a slope but everything down here is just nice and flat and I'm stepping on flowers again so I'm not gonna <laughs> Walk through there. <laughs> this is now the edge of the property. So there is the fence here and the fence on that end. And then the river acts as this side of the property. Uh, there is a compost that they have going on here and over here, an extra water tank for, you know, irrigation, although there is a full irrigation system. But if you needed extra water for these guys, it's right there. And he's got everything you need to maintain the garden here as someone who works in the garden, who's yeah. working towards having a nice garden like this. And he was saying, even with all the clippings and everything, they just mulch it down for the compost. So yeah. they got everything to kind of self-maintain. This is closed now, but it's just storage. They have some wood in there because they do have a fireplace. It's quite big though. It is big. So it's the whole length of here and it goes pretty deep. Um, but yeah, you do have an extra storage space and here. And he's got a bunch of wood in there already yeah. cut, ready if to go. If you buy a small tractor to clear the land, although there's flowers everywhere, so you probably don't want to do it that way. As you saw in his garage, he's very clean and very tidy with this yeah. stuff. So literally that shed is ready to go. Everything's put it's away. Got your garden tools. Yep. All in here. Could use it as a drive or as a garage. I. It would be really hard to get up and out of here, but maybe if you needed that extra garage space but between the garage on the lower level of the house and the carport you have enough room to put two three cars if you absolutely needed it 
Yeah, you could use it as a garage, but you probably won't. I'd Just, keep it for a tractor garage. Yeah, it's, but it's you could a park quite opening. a few cars in here now that you're talking about it. It's pretty. If you really want to stack steep, them, you could. But yeah, throw you could a house fit party them here. here. There's also plenty of uh, parking on the street. So we had at one point like three or four cars parked right out there. And there's plenty of room for all of them. You're not in if somebody's way. If it fits, way. it parks here. If it fits, it parks. Gonna come up over here now. This is the side garden space. <sighs> I don't You're know. really trying to figure out what these trees are around <laughs> you. He went through and told us all of them and I was like making mental notes, but then it just, there were so many. Lots of trees, Lots all of, of trees. them useful trees. Uh, I don't think he mentioned like an oak really. The only- There's a cork oak. It's there's that a one right couple there. of flowering trees and there's like maybe one or two holly I think trees. That was a plum tree. Cause I remember saying- yes. Plum. That's really pretty and I want that tree, so you should show it. <laughs> that white one with the white flowers, that is a plum tree, it is beautiful. And I think this might be, a, we have a pomegranate for sure somewhere. That's an olive tree. Kind of looks this like a pomegranate a, to me. The smaller like clementine. Again, I listed off all the trees at the beginning and I'll you know put it in the notes too, just so you know what trees you all have here. We do have a raised garden bed of mostly veggies going right now. And again, very healthy, very well maintained. You move in and you have an already planted, already growing veggie garden. And it's an awesome outdoor space for like, if you convert that garage into something, this is like a perfect little private this outdoor could be that space for garage, them. garage, private space. So many options. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's just like, surprisingly how much space there is and because you don't think of it like you were saying when you walk up to the front of the house it looks yeah. like a small place and a small house with only about 2500 meters square of land it's over that i think it's like 28 29 they weren't quite sure but because of how well laid out it is it feels huge it feels like there's so much space so much privacy to have too you don't see the pool from here i can kind of see the the cover that goes over it I can see a little bit of the lower garden. I can't see that upper garden at all from this side. You have privacy everywhere. This is the lowest level of the house. That's the outdoor kitchen through there and the garage. And now we're gonna come up this way and we've essentially come full circle, but there's still a little bit more to see. that lavender that's lavender that's rosemary rosemary <laughs> lavender. you're really bad at I'm this really today bad. <laughs> so he's got california poppies here. Right here he mentioned rosemary up towards the front the rosemary will grow over eventually so it'll actually cover this uh it'll cinder block down. wall right here and like i said he's trying to pathway. cover up all this cinder block with things that will kind of creep up or creep down over it to cover it up and just make it flowers and, and really give pretty. it a couple years and pretty soon this one behind you jay will be covered with probably right jasmine and some more vines as well so there's and that's where the other chocolate vine is yep as right well. over here is the other chocolate vine this is the cork oak so they do have a cork oak tree it's yep. this one right here and it'll you know it's another pretty open terraced space that you can do pretty much anything with i kind of picture putting a hot tub here Good no, idea. Very pretty, lots of space. In Portugal, I don't know how much you would use a hot tub, but you could I would. one here. I would use one. I think we should get one. And, and then again, there is a this... road bridge, yeah, and then is... behind it is a pedestrian bridge as well. And a little bit just past that is right where the river beach is yeah. with a cafe, and there is one restaurant nearby. So there is a cafe, but they said it's only open Fridays and sometimes Sundays and sometimes only during the summer, but sometimes not. I thought that was the restaurant. The restaurant is for the sale. Area. So that is not exactly open right now. They said sometimes they see people there, but it's not, they don't know if it's open. It is for sale though. So if somebody buys it, there could be a really nice restaurant right here in town. Otherwise, again, you're driving between and five it, to 10 minutes. In Portugal, there's cafes and restaurants Everywhere. everywhere and they're all really great so you won't have to go too far for any of that so this gate is another gate that leads you down the driveway that can lead to the lower garage or the lower level of the house which is currently set up as a garage 
and then it comes right up here. And this is where we started the tour. So now we've finished, we have seen the entire house. This house is listed by Mandy Walker of IED Portugal. All of her information to contact her will be in below, below as well as the price of the house because again, in real estate, prices sometimes change. So we don't put the price in the video, just in case it changes, we can just update the title. So look down below in the description for more information about this house, as well as where you can go to see the pictures of the virtual tour and get in contact with Mandy for a showing. So again, I'm Jay, Cody's on camera. We are exploring in Portugal and we are finishing up another house and we will see you again very soon.